OTW Houston asks, what is the most important or best aspect of a live music event or experience? The I most important aspect. That's you. The live um, just getting the people engaged. You see, I try to die every time I'm on stage. Die? I, die. Like you go so hard that you just might I go. I try to die. Like, I like that. Like, I think I would, I would love to <laughs> die on stage. Seriously, and, right? Seriously. And um, so what happens is... You look good these days. You're, you're probably you less someone. likely to do that yeah, than no, back no, in the no, day no, you were I'm more trying, likely. You're try. looking good, man, actually. Uh, yeah, I've been trying, but I work out every day. Back in the day, you might have been able to pull that off. You're looking good, though, now. But what happens is uh, I've analyzed this so hard to where times are hard and, and everybody doesn't have money like that. And everybody doesn't get money the same way and I've analyzed it to where people buy tickets to go to shows to where every single dollar tells a different story so everybody who's in this audience had to do a different thing work harder work extra right, hours some, some borrow like some money sell something that they really love to see their favorite rapper fashion. do whatever so every ticket tells a different story so it's my obligation that if they went through their, you know, through, through all these changes to see me being their favorite rapper that I have to give them my all in the show. I love that. What's your favorite, you know, this isn't now me jumping in. What's your favorite, what are some of your favorite venues to perform in? Do you have a favorite venue or two? Well, well. I saw you at City Field the other day. Well, my day. favorite show I've ever done in my life was last night. And hold last on, hold on, hold on. Your favorite show I've ever done in my life. My best moment, my best moment in my career was last night. Well, I worked until two in the morning and I've been up since five working, so I missed, I need to, I need to hear the story. So what happened was um, yesterday, I did summer stage in Cretona Park in the Bronx. And it's the park I grew up in. It's like three blocks away from my neighborhood. My grandmother grew up three blocks in that direction. I grew up three blocks in this direction. They've never seen no shit like this. So it's usually 500 people at that. There was literally 20,000 people there so, and yeah. 5,000 people. No, I've seen everybody's mother, everybody I went to school with. You saw people you haven't seen in years? It looked like Summer Jam, man. It looked like Summer Jam in the middle of the park I grew up in. I have a scar where I fell in the pool, where I have <laughs> stitches. My father sold ICs. And, and beef patties in the summer in this park, like, it was the... It, it was, was a coming home. Oh my God, man, I almost cried you on never, stage never, and I'm too never, macho for that. You never performed there before? It was the craziest shit I ever seen in my life. So when I got on stage and I, it was overwhelming, when I looked out, it just looked like Yankee Stadium and it was my whole neighborhood and I was like, oh shit. And, and so many years I've been fighting for the Bronx and. And, and, and talking about, yo, I'm from the Bronx and representing the Bronx. And when I seen that they all came out, they were like, yeah, bro. That's I'm nice, man. Home. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was the biggest moment for me in my life. Congratulations, you know, man. That's nice. Thank you.